Hey everyone, welcome to Drive By Reviews. Today we're going to be installing two 8GB RAM cards into the Alien Alphaware i3. Pretty simple, all you're going to need is a screwdriver, the cards themselves, and the console. Crack open our DDR3 8GB cards. Alright, now you got four screws. Phillips head screws, all you got to do is remove them from each of the four corners. Let's start with that. Okay, once you get each screw loosened, you just kind of lift. I like to leave the screws in there. So when we're going to replace the hard drive later with an SSD, that's right here. We'll do that in the next video. But for now, you just got to get to the other side of the system. So you're going to flip it over. Try and gently remove from the case your computer system. Of course, keep in mind where everything is, right? Here are your nice fans. You got these two pinchers. You're just gonna pinch and lift. Gently get that fan out of the way. And there is your RAM card. So we are gonna take that one out. Now, oftentimes people don't show this. You've got on the edges of your card these tension pieces that you just push outwards, and it'll let the card lift up. Okay? Then you can easily and gently remove it out. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside for now. So just line up the indentation with the insertion. We're gonna just gently put it in there. There's one. Okay, same thing on the top. We're just gonna gently put it in here. There's two. All right, we got those installed. Then you just flip the fan back on top. Make sure you line up those two blue clips with where you took it out. Snap it into place. Okay, then get the Alienware case back on top. Flip your device back over. And you just can put the screws back in. Okay, so we got all our screws back in tight. Let's plug it in and see how this puppy runs with the 16 gigabytes of RAM that's now installed. Nice, we have a lot of particles here. Okay, as you can see, we've got a lot of firepower, a lot of fragments and particles going on here. And a little faster. Absolutely. Granted, Warframe isn't the most difficult game that this could run, but I am curious to see how it does in future games, and I will show that as well. But definitely an improvement from the 4 gigs. It's kind of up to you to decide what are you going to actually run on your computer system for a game if you need an upgrade. The 4 gig was actually doing Warframe pretty well, and that was on the highest level of graphics settings. So, you tone down the graphics settings, and you may not even need 16 graphics card for all the games to play. It really depends. Now, if this was multiplayer, a little bit of an issue with some of the newer games out there. And of course, the expansive universes they have. But as you can see, we got snowfall, a lot of firepower, a lot of different movement, some special effects, and this is a pretty fluid game. By the way, Warframe is an awesome game. You can try it out if you like that hack and slash style playing. Keep in mind, it is designed to be played with the keyboard and mouse, and I'm trying to use the Xbox controller, and it just makes it a little choppy. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to Drive By Reviews. That's the upgrade for the i3 going to 16 gigabytes up from 4. Very simple installation, very easy to complete. You can do it your home with just a screwdriver and the new components. Alright, have fun gaming guys. Tune in next time.